The knee is one of the most important joints in the body. It helps bring you balance, stability, power, endurance, pretty much any physical characteristic that you're trying to work on, uh, your knee plays a crucial role in that. The knee helps to rotate your pelvis, okay? It helps to absorb uh, forces of your body weight so that it, it can be evenly distributed to the ankle as well as between the ankle and the hip, okay? The knee is also, also one of these uh, areas that people get a lot of issues with, okay, from either uh, having stiffness, having pain, uh, dull sensation, uh, too, much mo uh, too much movement, not enough movement in, in or around the knee. And uh, I, I think that if we start to look at the knee with a different perspective, we can actually train it in such a way that we can improve the resiliency of it and also make it so that the knee can be really adaptable in our day-to-day -day activities, okay? So one of the simple things that you can do if you're trying to improve the health of your knee or, or have a happier feeling knee is to look at the tissue around your knee, okay? So you're going to mainly be uh, thinking about like the, the fronts of the thighs, the sides, the inner thigh, and then the back of the thigh, okay? And one of the things I like to start people with is this idea that you want your muscles to be hydrated, okay, and well circulated. So if you have uh, stiffness or uh, I'll say tightness or restrictions in the tissues that attach to your knee, uh, sometimes it can look like this. So let's say this is a healthy, healthy muscle, okay, it's, it has elastic um, recoil properties, though through repetitive use, strain, habitual and chronic holding, what can happen is this, this uh, really elastic muscle starts to uh, lose some of its potential, okay? And then maybe up closer to the hip, more of the tissues get restricted, and eventually, because of the lifestyle and uh, poor exercise decisions, now we have um, tissues, tissues that go from my knee to my hip, or my knee to my ankle, or my knee to my pubic bone, uh, we have restricted tissue, okay? So tissue that's not uh, being able to eliminate uh, waste from the cells as easily, it's not as pliable, okay? So, so it doesn't have the ability to shorten and lengthen to its full potential, okay? And then one of the issues that arises out of this is this is your tissue, okay? And then we go and we exercise on it because the mind says we have to exercise, we have to check the box, we have to get the adrenalines, we have to combat the sitting or whatever else we use to justify our reasons for exercising, or we don't exercise at all. Okay, so if you're on the opposite side of the spectrum, you, you actually don't exercise, and this whole area gets a little bit more restricted, okay? And then down the road is we, we do start to move, whether it's walking to the car or walking to the restaurant or we do go we choose to go on a run or swim or something and we have restricted tissue and you know the tissue can't go where it doesn't have access to all right and then we start to get knee pain and sometimes that knee pain uh, turns into hip pain or ankle and foot pain is really common as well uh, so so one of the first things I talk about with folks is you know getting these tissues to relax okay self massage going and seeing a manual therapist uh, you know, using lacrosse balls, tennis balls, foam rollers, there's a lot of information on the internet uh, and there are thousands, tens of thousands of practitioners who can help address the tissues and get them back to a, uh, a more lengthened, uh, relaxed state, okay? So that's going to be one of the first things that you're going to want to do. Uh, second thing is you want to make sure you have uh, variety in whatever you are doing for your lower body because one of the leading causes of all joint injuries is the repetitive strain so if you just tell yourself that I'm going to do a hundred or fifty of this exercise this knee exercise and you don't have variability to what the motion is those those tissues get strained and you're you're essentially putting excessive stress on the same muscles over and over again okay so, you know, you kind of combine uh, soft tissue work, manual therapy, with uh, uh, adding a variety of uh, lower body exercises, okay? So that you're starting to address the hip, ankle, and knee from 
uh, different directions. And then one of the last things I encourage people to do is get to know your needs, all right? So if you uh, look at a picture of yourself, you know, a recent photo, notice how you stand, okay? Do your knees turn in? Do, do you have kind of this knock knee position where the inside edge of your foot is down? Do you have the cowboy position, which is really bowed out? Uh, if you have a side shot, you know, do you, do you live here? Do you live here? Do you live here? All these different postures and positions of my body are actually going to influence the knee because the knee has an intimate relationship uh, with not only the foot and ankle, but the hip, pelvis, and, and low back, okay? Uh, and then my last piece of advice is going to be to, uh, besides getting to know your knee, is always planting your feet. With any exercise you do, uh, when you're brushing your teeth, when you're cooking, set your feet, okay? Because if you can make your feet have equal pressure on both of them, uh, the knee is going to experience equal pressure as well. And that way you're, you're avoiding these postural patterns of like this, or leaning on the kitchen counter, or this is one of my favorite ones, is you see people out in the world and they, they kind of stand like this. It's really common with dancers. They just like drive that one hip uh, heel forward. Okay, and you want to try and bring balance and understanding and consciousness, or I'll say awareness, to your knees. Okay, uh, the knee is oftentimes an emotional uh, joint, and I say that because if you don't have a happy knee, it can really make you sad, or it can make you uh, ambivalent. Uh, it can make you anxious. Okay, or even angry. So. Uh, the knee can define you, and what I'm going to encourage you to do is try to define yourself by starting to bring awareness to your knee, and that awareness will trickle down into your foot and up into your hip. Uh, so that's kind of more the, the philosophical, uh, mixed with a little bit of scientific reasoning behind your knee and how to maintain a healthy knee for your entire life. If you saw my post earlier, that uh, you can do the research, but total knee replacements are going up in this country and all throughout, um, you know, uh, first world countries, okay? And I think the idea is to die with the knees that we were born with, okay? So uh, you got to do whatever you, you have to do to keep your knee for as long as possible. Okay, and in my next video, I'm going to show a couple of exercises that are really simplistic, basic, fundamental to improving the health of your knee.